this whole deal is unbelievable. I mean, even at the start, racing carts is something that I had always wanted to do, uh, to be able to come out and do some schools, and now to actually have the opportunity to be here at Coda and actually get to race an F4 car is something that is absolutely unbelievable. It's a dream of mine. I'm absolutely grateful for this opportunity, and I'm just looking forward to getting there out there on the racetrack. The, the goal this weekend for me is I want to see consistent improvement, and ideally that will yield a very positive finish. Bring it in, bring it in, come here. Isn't it a little ironic? I've always been the 51. We've got the 51, it's just a little reversed. Practice sessions are over. Uh, the track is super slick, like absolutely insanely slick. Like I never would have predicted that it was gonna be this challenging when I came out here. Uh, so we're actually going to take a P9 and a P9. So we're towards the back of the field, but we kind of expected that, you know? I mean, this is a first time out here doing something like this. There's a lot of experienced drivers out here. So, uh, you know, we're the goal is, like I've said before, consistent improvement throughout the weekend. And so we've got ourselves a starting point. Now we got to work on that. We're actually going to change from the wet tires to the slicks for the first qualifying session. The weather's actually improving right now. So uh, we'll see how we do out there in qualifying. guys the first qualifying session we improved we actually gained a spot and we're about half a second to a second off of a big group of drivers from about third on back so really happy with that improvement from the practice sessions to qualifying we're actually done here for the day so uh, we've we ran three solid sessions uh, two in the rain one in the dry so we've got a good blending of experience to kind of set us up for whatever tomorrow brings so we're looking forward to coming back out tomorrow with over 300,000 alumni, including champions and race winners in Formula One, NASCAR, IndyCar, and sports car racing, the Skip Barber School and its Formula Race Series has been the proving ground for many of the best to ever climb in a race car. Ready to take the green and we are racing.
finished eighth in fifth place. I got some fine uh, shrubbery. Excited to bring this home with me tonight. Actually a really fun race. Uh, I was really struggling yesterday in the rain and today I felt a little bit more comfortable and had a really good time. And uh, on the start there, I uh, actually got passed, went back to ninth. And then I had a guy spin in front of me going on the exit of the S's. And it was a big, he, he got all sorts of locked up, ended up spinning out. And I was behind him carrying the same speed and I saw him do that and I'm like, I'm about to be facing the same fate. And I just had a hell of a save and kept it going and stayed in it, kept pushing. And uh, we were actually gaining on seventh. So uh, really happy about that kind of speed. You know, we got this first race, my first professional uh, race out of the way. And I'm, I'm very proud of that kind of performance. Uh, we definitely, the goal was to see consistent improvement and we got consistent improvement. We got a lot of good rain practice a lot of good time on the rain here at this track and with all the rubber that the GT and touring cars were putting down it had to have been even worse than what the conditions were like yesterday so uh, you know to, to be that more comfortable especially that last lap I was hustling and bustling trying to get everything I could out of the car try to get that seventh place spot I actually got a really good run into turn 11 I kept trying to run the dry line in there trying to keep it in tight kept getting a little sideways out wasn't getting a good exit uh, whoever I was chasing, he uh, he tried getting away from me and had a really bad exit. And I tried getting a good run down the straightaway at him, but just wasn't close enough to make anything happen. So uh, just got to give a huge shout out to Skip Barber Racing School for giving us this platform to have this awesome racing experience for the beginners moving into motorsports. This entire field that we had here today, just a class that is unlike any other. A lot of talented drivers, a lot of success is coming out of this group of Skip Barber racers. So i uh, got to give a huge shout out to all the competitors. And then uh, obviously a huge thanks to Matt Zagaitis, Global Force Kart Sport, for his work today behind the camera. It's, uh, without, without him, we wouldn't have had this awesome video and this awesome uh, coverage of the race. So that was awesome. Very awesome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.